interesting tip that's pretty important on any um, older singer. This, for instance, is a singer 99K. When you open the bobbin area here, if you happen to see this red felt um, stuck in there, uh, before you pull it out, just sort of make sure you're aware of what that is. In this particular machine and some of the older singers, that is actually an oil wick. It's not a piece of fuzz that's jammed in there. And when I got this machine, this was completely empty. There was nothing in there at all. Someone had taken this apart here and removed all the felt, probably thinking that um, it had gotten jammed in there. And what this does is this holds oil. So it's in a spring and the spring is inside this um, bobbin positioning bracket. So there's a spring in there and the spring holds this piece of felt, which is tightly um, pressed into there. And what you do is you put a drop or two of oil on this felt when it's dry and it oils the um, hook and race area here. So when this runs across it, it gets oiled every time the hook here comes around. And this is an oscillating hook system. So it kind of goes back and forth like this and back and forth. And also inside of this bobbin case here, there is an indented area which also rides directly against this groove. So that stays nice and um, lubricated. It's not metal on metal because you have this oil wick that is oiling this every time the hook oscillates around in this bobbin case. So I had to actually pull out the bracket, not touching this. You do it from underneath. And if you want to know how that whole assembly comes out, you can look at uh, obviously a blog or something online. But uh, my best suggestion is to check out Andy Tube who has a YouTube page and he actually shows the best way to get this out from underneath. And it was so quick and easy and that was pretty much um, what I did. I followed his technique to getting this out from underneath. There's two screws. There's a um, screw that holds the feed dogs and then you replace, you pull out the feed dogs. And then there's a, I believe it's called a set screw which holds this positioning, bobbin positioning bracket into place and you remove that. And once you do that, you can get a little, um, an awl or something, even this right here, if it was thin enough, would have worked. And you just tap this out, just a few gentle taps, um, and it comes right out after you replace, or you pull out the bobbin case. So you take out the feed dogs, you take out the bobbin case here, and um, remove those two screws, and this just comes right out. Um, excuse me, you remove the feed dog screws first, then you take the feed dogs out, then you take the bobbin case out, then you take the set screw out for this and then you can tap it out. And it all goes back in really easily. So um, that's what I did today. And this runs so smoothly. It actually improved my, um, my sewing. The stitches look so much better as well. So I'm gonna show you how they look. It's sewing just so smoothly. It sounds better. I've been sewing on this for a little while and I can even hear the difference, just how proper oiling and cleaning, even when you think you've done it right, you find something else that you could get in there. It's just doing a beautiful job. So, very happy.